friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. And let's get started. For DIY number one, I picked up this basket at my local thrift store and it looks like it originally came from Walmart. It looked like it was $5 or so, but I got it for, I think it was $2 and it was half off, so it was a dollar. And look how cute it is. It says Happy Harvest and it's that wood, like a apple basket I think anyway I'm taking some of this white chalk paint by Waverly and with my chunky chippy brush I'm just going to very lightly distress this whole basket and look at this I always do this <laughs> I don't know why I always go heavy-handed when I first start distressing I don't know it just happens but I'm gonna go with it Anyway, I'm going to keep working it until I get it to look like this. And look, I did the inside, I did the outside, I did the handles, I did the bottom, I did the whole thing. I think it looks beautiful. Okay, so it's a little bit light, so I'm going to go ahead and go in and use some of these rocks, these pebbles from the Dollar Tree, just to give it a little bit of weight, weigh it down a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with some of this beautiful ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and look, it's got the leaves. Because after all, this is a leaves and flowers playlist, right? So I'm just going to take my ribbon and kind of wrap it around the basket on the circumference to see how much I need. And I'll snip it off with my scissors. And so now I feel like it's a little bit too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. And I know this is not typical, but I think for this application it works well. And now I'm going to add it to my basket to the center of my basket and I'm just going to hot glue it in place so once I have that hot glued I'm going to take some more of my ribbon and I'm going to make a super quick bow now I do know how to make a regular bow but I wanted to show you guys another way to make a quick bow if you don't know how to tie a bow you can always do it like this just make like a, a kind of bow shape and cinch it in the center and add some jute twine and that makes a really quick bow or you can make tr the traditional tied bow which you know you guys know I know how to make so anyway you just take the jute twine and you just tie it with a double knot knot and then snip off the excess and then fluff up the bow part and for this one I'm going to go ahead and make the dovetails so I just fold it in half on the bottoms and cut it at an angle like this so I cut them both very easy and now look at that it's perfect so I just fluff it up and I'm going to go ahead and glue it I wanted to glue it to the front but I, but then it would it would kind of cover up the happy happy harvest so I decided to glue it on the top left hand corner and I think it looks super cute now all I have to do is add my florals some Delilah some sunflowers and some oh i was showing you that these flowers have burlap petals and some of these mini pomegranates some of these foxtails these dripping blossoms and these maple leaves and then this one fall pick with the big pomegranate so it looks like this a traditional fall leaves and flower arrangement what do you guys think This video is a part of the Here Comes Fall Leaves and Flowers collab and it is hosted by Ellie over at DIY From House to Home. And also participating is Chantelle from Crafty Hints, Michelle from Moxie DIY and Java, Zana from OK at Home DIY, Connie from Connie Creative Creations, 
Brenda from Monner's Market. Krista from Krista's Crafty Life. Lon from Living Life with Lon. Jackie Burns from Jackie Burns Creations. And myself, Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World. And I'm so excited to be joining in together with these fabulous, very talented ladies. So please, when you're done watching my video, please head on over to my description box and follow the playlist to see what everybody else has created. For DIY number two, I am repurposing this little flower pot that I've had for years. And so I cleaned it up as best I could. And look how cute it is. It is so cute. It has so much potential. So I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color Celery, which I think is so cottage core. I love this color. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and paint it all up with a nice flat paintbrush to get into all the little nooks and crannies. It's like the best way to get in there other than spray paint, but you don't find this color in spray paint. Anyway, look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. It does such a really good coverage. So now I'm going to go in with some of this plaster paint from Waverly. And with a chippy brush, I'm just going to very lightly distress this whole piece and just go real ever so lightly on all the raised parts. And look how beautiful it's starting to look. Oh my goodness, like I said, this little planter has so much potential with all those raised spots. Look at that. It is gorgeous. I even did the inside and the bottom and the underneath as well. So now I'm going to give it just another little bit of dimension. So I'm going to use some of this Waverly Antique Wax. And with my chunky chippy brush, I'm just going to very lightly just give it a little bit of worn look to it. Like it's been outside for a little bit. Not a full coverage, but just here and there. Just, just a tiny little bit. And I'm trying very hard not to go too, too heavy handed. <laughs> but if I do, I'll just go back in with some more of the celery chalk paint and look it looks so cute so now i'm taking one of these new brand new candle holders from the dollar tree and again the same celery chalk paint by waverly and i do a full coverage and this time i'm going to take some of the waverly chalk paint in the color white and with my little chunky chippy brush just very lightly give it a distressing just a little tiny bit on the edges on all the raised edges are in the center on the bottom everywhere until it looks like this and now I'm going to adhere my planter to my candle holder and I'm just going to use some of the e6000 so first I was going to put it on the candle holder but no <laughs> no bad idea I'm going to put it on the base of my planter because it's more narrow and so I try to get it centered Move it, move it a little bit if I need to and set it aside to dry overnight. So now I'm taking this little piece of burlap fabric that I had and I'm going to cut a little slit in the center and a circle all in the center because I'm going to kind of create a sort of a skirt, kind of like a tree skirt for a Christmas tree. But this is going to go around the candle holder of my little planter candle holder setup. So it's not quite big enough. So I need to cut a little tiny bit more just to make it a little bit more wide. And then once I get it just right, then I'm just going to place it around the top of the candle holder, which is at the base of the planter. And I'm just going to hot glue it in place with a couple dabs of glue. And once I get that on there, I'll show you in a minute how it looks. It looks so cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so cute. <laughs> so now I had these burlap leaves and I wanted to use them for this because they're a greenish not quite the green that I have on there but it goes so I'm just going to add a leaf here and there I only have three of these green burlap leaves I had some orange ones but I think the orange color is a little bit too strong and I really wanted to go with kind of a natural colors the greens and the browns for cottage core so I'm just going to add these three as is and that is it and I don't show it but I do wrap this whole thing with some twine jute twine just to finish it up a little bit and you'll see that in the final reveal of this project I add some styrofoam and then my florals which are little mini sunflowers 
and some of this fall grass which are so pretty this foliage with like the little berries and that's it and so now I'm going to also take this little ceramic pumpkin from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint this with the celery chalk paint as well I think it's so cute so I'm just gonna paint it real quick just a light 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 coating until it looks like this and now I'm going to go back in with some of the Waverly chalk paint in the color white and my little chunky chippy brush and very very lightly 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 just give it a nice coat and I'm just going to do very thin coat all the way around the little ceramic pumpkin until it looks like this and now I'm taking some of this really thin jute twine from the tool bench section of the Dollar Tree and add a little dab of glue on the pumpkin and adhere it and I'm going to wrap this little pumpkin with this jute twine and so I'm going to go ahead and cut off a piece that I think is long enough I just kind of guesstimated it I really didn't measure and I'm just going to start to go and wrap it around all the little gaps of the pumpkin and then thread it to help hold the loops in place and really there's no rhyme or reason I just kind of went with it um, I don't know, I just kind of guessed and it, I guess it kind of worked out. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it didn't. Some places it did, some places did it, it didn't, but in the end you'll see it worked. It looks cute. So I just keep working this and try to thread it through and yeah, kind of, it kind of looks like a little bit of a hot mess, but you'll see it in the end. It does look cute. <laughs> you just kind of, kind of, kind of work with it. So I just keep wrapping it until I get to the very end. And look at this. I barely had enough. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so I just go ahead and thread that last piece through and adhere it with a little dab of glue. And now with the leftover pieces that I had from that burlap piece, I'm going to create two tiny little leaves. I am not a leaf maker. So be mindful of that <laughs> but I just kind of winged it and kind of kind of created two little leaves out of burlap I don't know I just felt like it needed a little something something so I just took these two pieces and just hot glued them to the top and look it looks cute very cottage core so this will help embellish my little setup okay we're not done with the embellishing let me tell you I just I kept going with the embellishing <laughs> So now I'm going to take this Harvest DIY pack of words and I'm just going to use the one that says Welcome Fall because this video is Here Comes Fall, right? And I'm taking some of the Antique Wax by Waverly and my Baby Wipe and just painting this with the Antique Wax until it looks like this. And now here I'm taking some of these little mini mushrooms. They're the wood ones from the Dollar Tree, and I'm taking one of each. They're different shapes. And I'm going to go in with some of the Waverly chocolate in the color celery and some of the antique wax. So they look like this. And I glue these to some bamboo skewers to help put them in my planter. And look at this cottage core fall. What do you guys think? DIY number three and my last DIY of this video I am taking one of these little kind of like a crate from the Dollar Tree and some of these wood planks I'm taking four and I'm going to adhere two of them to the long sides with some hot glue 
I was going to use some wood glue, but in reality for this application, hot glue is just fine. So I'm just going to add a bead of it and then place this piece of plank on there. And I'll do exactly the same thing to the other side till it looks like this. And now I'll take another plank and I'm going to kind of figure out where I need to cut it so I can make this into a perfect rectangle because this little crate is kind of short and I wanted the sides to be a little bit taller, a little bit more substantial. So now that I have the size that I need to cut, I'm going to add my ruler as a guide and with my X-Acto knife, I will just cut or should I say score? I'll score it a few times and press firmly and maybe make a little notch here and there on both sides just so I can line it up on the back side. So just be careful because these little knives are super sharp. And now I'll line up the ruler again on the back side and then score it some more. And I think I have it and I'll try it, but nope. It's not quite ready. I need to score it a little bit more. So with this kind of this kind of technique, you really have to take your time and put some pressure, but also be careful. This is really, really sharp X-Acto knives. And so I'll just keep pushing it and pressing it until it pops off like a cracker, just like that. Now I'll take a little bit of sandpaper and smoothen up all the rough edges. And so now I can hot glue this piece on there. Look at that, fits perfectly. But before I do that, I've got to measure my other one, do the same thing. Now I have my two pieces and now I can hot glue them to this little, it's like a little tray, it's not really a crate, it's like a little tray. So now I'll add that piece on and then the last piece, I'll do another bead of glue and place that on there. So now once I have that on, now I can go in with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white, paint it all up, all of it, inside, outside, bottom side, all of it. Look how perfect, cute little box. So now I'm going to go in with my elephant chalk paint by Waverly and my little chunky brush. I'm going to distress it because this one's going to be a farmhouse fall project or DIY. So I'm just going to distress this whole piece until it looks like this. So look at it, super cute. So now you can stop here, but I decided I wanted some of this brand new Buffalo check ribbon that's new in the fall section of Dollar Tree. And I know it kind of hides all my distressing, but like I said, you have, you know, you have options. You can either distress it and leave it as is, or you can go for the gusto. <laughs> Add a couple more embellishments. I don't know. I just feel like these projects, they just, they just need embellishing. So I added the ribbon and now I'm going to do another piece to do a bow, just like I did for my little basket. Same technique. I just cinched it in the center and added some jute twine, wrapped it around, double knotted it and snipped off the excess, fluffed up the ribbon and created the dovetails. Just like the first ribbon same exact way and now i'll set this aside and we'll see what i do with it in a minute so now i'm going to take one of these little pumpkins from the dollar tree they're the wood blocks and i'm going to remove the little bow tie but i do add it later and i'm going to remove the excess glue with my little finger sander and with my white chalk paint by waverly i'm going to paint this whole thing I first start just painting the B on it, but then I decided to paint the whole thing. And now I'm going to distress with the same elephant chalk paint. And, I, and first I was just gonna do the perimeter, the little edges, but then I ended up just doing the whole thing <laughs> until it looked like this. And now I decided to use one of these brand new fall rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. First I'm making sure it's going to fit and it does. And so I'm going to place it in the center of my little pumpkin. And this is supposed to be for smooth surfaces. I think I'm a rebel because this is not smooth. This has little uh, texture to it, but I'm just going to scrape it and scrape it and scrape it and try it out. And as I pull, guess what? It totally works. It doesn't have to be a smooth surface like the directions say. I'm totally a rebel. <laughs> so cute 
<laughs> okay, so now I'm going to seal it up with some Mod Podge because I worked so hard to get it on there. I want to make sure it stays on there. So I do add my little Mod Podge and I hot glue my little bow back in place. Now here I didn't show it, but I did hot glue my big bow to one side of my little box and I'm going to hot glue this little pumpkin, this little wood pumpkin to the other side because this project is going to be reversible. You can use it for fall and when fall is over, you can turn it around and you can use it for regular farmhouse decor like this. So now all I have to do is add my floral foam and my florals, which I'm using the pumpkin maple pick with the pumpkins, some mini sunflowers, these other velvety pumpkins, some boxwood from Walmart and this other wheatgrass from Walmart and this other piece and look, farmhouse fall. What do you guys think? Well, I'd like to take a moment and thank Ellie from DIY From House to Home for bringing us all together for this wonderful playlist. Hope you guys watch it and enjoy it and get lots of inspiration. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until my next video, stay healthy, safe, and strong. And have a wonderful, great, great day. Bye-bye.